Hey, hey cross watchers, welcome to your weekly forecast for those of you who have a Scorpio in your life that you're curious about, you just want to know what's going on with them. Um, my darlings, I already shuffled, I pulled out the cards, I had a little bit of a malfunction, so I'm starting the video all over again, but that's why usually you guys that like to watch me shuffle on camera, the, ca the cards have already been pulled because of the malfunction, I had to start over again, but guys i just want to say real quick for cross watchers my intention here is not to spill tea it's not to get into anybody's dirty laundry my intention is always i start off as i'm shuffling and i ask the archangels to bring in information that's going to bring about healing uh constructive progress you know what is in the cross watchers best interest to know what is in the scorpio's best interest to know and i always ask for beneficial information to come through so I just want to lay that out there for you now. Uh, your first card here for your for those of you who are cross-watching about a Scorpio for July is Seven of Water. And this is going to have two very different meanings depending on the maturity of your Scorpio. If you know your Scorpio is like a little sneaky and you know that something's going on and you know that this is a Scorpio that maybe is, gosh, for lack of a better word, low vibrational or immature... And if you're getting like a like a player vibe kind of from them, Seven of Water is coming in as like a confirmation for you that, yeah, the Scorpio is not really looking to be super settled at any time uh, or at least not in the very near future or anytime soon. If your Scorpio is more mature, higher vibrational, um, uh, in fact, the video, the reading for Scorpios for this past week, a lot of them are going through a really significant transformation and they're coming into a, a time of stability. So those of you who have a higher vibrational or a more mature Scorpio, this is letting you know that they're very distracted in the month of July. They have a lot going on. And so they might not be making concrete plans with you. They might be in this energy where they're like, you know, oh, I'll let you know. And then they forget to let you know. Or they reach out and they say, oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't. Or uh, you might kind of feel like they're canceling plans or they're not wanting to make plans. For the mature Scorpio, the mature Scorpio is not trying to blow you off. Mature Scorpio is really, really distracted right now and trying to figure out what to do or what their next move is going to be in life, in their life. Because uh, the summertime uh, from my meditation and from what I'm getting, I think a lot of Scorpios are going to be going through a pretty massive transformation. So through from starting from June on through July on through August they're going to be going through a lot of uh, changes and a lot of kind of like shedding of layers shedding of the skin so to speak so they're really trying to figure out what stability is going to look like for them and what they want it to be what their long-term plan is they're getting very serious about their future so in this case, this is good because if you're watching because you have a Scorpio that you're wanting to build a life with or you're wanting to strengthen a relationship with, this is letting you know that they're doing the self-work. They're doing the self-work and figuring out how they can better themselves and what's going to be the best option moving forward, okay? So your Scorpio may seem a little bit distracted in July. This is why. Moving forward, we have eight of air. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Three of air. Three of air. Okay, and so as Scorpio is figuring out what they're going to be, what their next move is going to be, what they're going to be doing, and as they're going through this transformation, remember I told you Scorpios are going to be going through a pretty significant uh, a transformation, a start, I was going to say saturation, <laughs> hopefully not, um, as Scorpios are going through a pretty significant transformation starting from June on through the summer. And guys, I'm not like a Zodiac uh, specialist. I'm not an astrologer. I'm not an expert in astrology in any means. So I am not basing this off of astrology. I'm basing this off of what has come to me in meditation and what I've been seeing in the weekly readings for Scorpio. Okay, so I'm not placing, placing it on the planetary alignments in any way. I know we're coming to Mercury retrograde through a good part of the summer and that could be a, a lot of it for Scorpio. But as they're going through the transformation, they're going to have some heartaches that are coming up. Some heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. And so there's going to be situations in which they are feeling very hurt or they are trying to process their past 
and release and do some healing. Scorpios have a tendency of kind of like shrinking away or hiding away as it is sometimes. And so you're going to be seeing a lot of those Scorpio traits in your Scorpio in the month of July. You know, they might not be super social. They might not be wanting to get together. You might sense something is off. You might sense something is wrong. You might feel like, well, let me try to get Scorpio out of the house. Let me try to cheer Scorpio up. And they might just be like, nope, nope, nope. Like they just might be kind of in their little hermit mode as they're processing this. Um, what I'm hearing this to say, my darlings, uh, those of you who are cross-watching for a Scorpio, and if you have a guilty conscience about something, if you feel like you did something and you don't know if they're going to find out or if the truth is going to come out, it's pretty safe to say something is happening in July that your Scorpio is, is getting um, some information or something might be revealed or shown to them and they might be a little bit hurt by you. Um, the thing about Three of Air, though, for me, anyway, in my readings, is that it's a very intense pain. It's it's a very sudden pain. Usually it's because, like, some truth was revealed or something came out into the open. And it's an intense feeling. It's an intense pain. But it's usually over fairly quickly, um, in my experience, in the way that I've seen it come up in readings. So it might not be something that's going to turn into, like, months and months of depression or like weeks and weeks of not talking. Scorpios have a tendency um, to be very intense in their emotions. And so they kind of have a reputation of like not being forgiving or like going out for revenge. You have to understand something, my darlings. I'm saying this as a Scorpio myself. It takes a lot to get a Scorpio to that level, to get a, especially a mature Scorpio. It takes a lot to get a Scorpio to the level where like they're going to really hate you or not forgive you or like try to get revenge on you. It takes a lot to get them to that level. So the fact that this heartache is happening for them, I think Cross Watcher, you've got a pretty good shot at getting over it, like getting past it being able to get their forgiveness, being able to move forward, but they might need some time, okay? So I'm going to put it to you this way. If there's something you're worried that they might find out about or you're worried somebody might talk or you told somebody something or someone knows something and you're like, you can't let anybody know, this has to stay between us, chances are that person's going to start talking and word is going to get back to Scorpio. So this could be a good little um, bit of advice for you, Cross Watchers, that if there's something you're feeling bad about, maybe it's going to be best for you to approach Scorpio before the information gets to them in another way. It might be better for them to hear it from you, okay? So just a little bit of advice there for that. Um, next we have Five of Water. So Scorpios are having a lot going on emotionally in July. Um they're hurting they're hurting they have some disappointments here remember how the first card also was seven of water so it was like a lot of options they might have some things they're trying to work on and make things happen and things might not be moving as quickly as they would like and so five of water is a card of disappointment okay so for those of you that you've done something that's gonna get back to scorpio and they're hurt five of water is gonna say they're very disappointed like they're they're more th more than angry they're disappointed because um they maybe have been doing a lot of work on themselves and they maybe have been doing a lot to try to like you know make themselves better in their life or for relationships so they might just kind of feel hurt about what happened and disappointed about what happened but again five of water is telling me um with five of water not all hope is lost right usually it's five cups and three are spilled and there's still two good cups. So there's a chance for rebuilding. And I think overall, whether it's rebuilding something with you, Crosswatcher, 
or whether maybe your Scorpio did something to you. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe Scorpio did something and the truth came out for you. And then in July, the, it's like setting in for them. And they're like, man, I really feel bad about that. I wish I hadn't done that. And maybe they're trying to like, they're disappointed in the way things are working out. And they're trying to figure out how to, you know, smooth things over with you. Sometimes, especially in the cross watcher videos, the roles can get a little bit reversed. So, um, it could just be this desire to rebuild. So whether it's a relationship thing where your Scorpio is trying to hope for rebuilding a relationship or you're wanting to rebuild a relationship with a Scorpio, um, or if your Scorpio is just in a place where they're really trying to get stability in their life, they might be trying to build something in their life and they just might have frustration about how it's moving full forward like they might have hoped that it would have been different or there would have been more progress by now so your Scorpio is going to be emotional in the month of July I can tell you that very clearly here from the cards so far uh, those of you who have Scorpios that have had um, issues in the past with substance abuse or any form of addiction, whether it's uh, being a workaholic or a shopaholic or a, a drinker or a smoker or, you know, just somebody who's had some kind of substance abuse. Five of Water, a lot of the times to me, is a card about not wanting to feel and trying to numb the emotions. So your Scorpio might also be finding it very tempting to, you know, those who are overcoming some kind of an addiction or a, or a self-medication habit, they might feel very tempted to fall back into that, like to start, you know, picking up on that self-medicating behavior. And so they might be spending time alone for that reason. They just might be in the energy where they're like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to stay away from anything that's making me super emotional or making me feel very strong feelings so that I'm not tempted to go into a situation where I'm going to be self-medicating. So um, I just feel a lot of you are going to be feeling some distance from your Scorpio in July. Uh, I think the best way that you could do to help um, obviously I'm a big advocate of prayer. I think it's always good to pray for somebody, but in addition to that, I'm just going to say, don't push too hard. I think it's good for Scorpio to hear from you, to know that you're thinking about them, uh, to know that you're there. You know, I don't, I don't think it hurts to say, Hey, you know, do you want to grab coffee or do you want to grab a bite to eat? Or do you feel like hanging out? Like those things are nice, but if Scorpio seems distant, I don't think they're going to be able to handle like anger, like, oh, you always do this or, oh, what's your problem? Or, you know what I mean? Like, that's not going to be something that they can really deal with right now. OK, I think and I think some of you, especially if you have a Scorpio who's hurt you, I feel like they're really struggling with guilt. They're really struggling with guilt and they're having um, a hard time and if it's not guilt about what they did to you they could be looking at their life like man I wasted so much time or here's opportunities I had that I could have had things together by now so I do feel some Scorpios are just in this thing of like beating themselves up mentally next we have five of fire okay competing goals so if you're trying to pull Scorpio into like the commitment talk right now or the relationship talk right now. Um, again, Scorpio is very focused on their life and working on themselves and improving themselves and getting their life together. And so if, if you have this goal of where you're like, well, you know, you want to spend more time together or you want to, you know, talk about where the relationship is headed. Scorpio might not have their mind in July really heavily focused on love or romance. Again, remember how I said transformation? They're going through a lot of changes. They're going through a lot of shifts. And so for some of you, your Scorpio may be coming off to you as like they're being selfish. And it's not about that at all. It's not about that at all. You guys are just focused on very different things, especially in July. And so if you're not cautious in your approach in trying to have communication, it could result in arguments here, quarreling, bickering, you know, things of that nature. It doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't have to be that way. Um, I think for those of you who are involved with a Scorpio or who are trying to help a Scorpio, 
your best bet is going to be, even if you're in a relationship, even if the Scorpio is your spouse and has been your spouse of many, many years or someone you've known for a long time um, or even just somebody that you've been dating or, you know, going out with maybe not too long. The most beneficial way of approaching your interaction with them in July is going to be just being a friend. OK, that doesn't mean that you guys aren't together or that you aren't dating or that you weren't still married. But what do they say about successful romantic relationships? The most successful romantic relationships are relationships in which there's a strong friendship um, and uh, where like the person is your best friend. And that's what Scorpio needs right now, because sometimes when we're focused on love or romance, we have a tendency to kind of try to, you know, protect ourselves emotionally by trying to control the relationship, the time frames, what's going on. We've been going out three months. I need to meet your family. I need to meet your friends. Uh, when are we going to be official? When are we going to be engaged? When are we going to get married? When are we going to move in together? You know, so we might kind of try to figure out those timelines or move for those milestones. But with your Scorpio, I do think they're going through a whole lot emotionally. And sometimes it's very difficult for Scorpio to open up and to talk about these things. So with your Scorpio for the month of July, you're definitely in a situation where you're going to catch more flies with honey than you are with vinegar. Some sweetness, some kindness, some compassion, being a listening ear, not being judgmental, not having judgment over them will help you all become a lot closer in July. Your next message here is the hanged man. OK, this is not by any means like a, a negative card. I know sometimes when people see the hangman, they get upset or they get frustrated because they're like, oh, it means nothing is going to happen or it means that, you know, things are stuck or stagnant. And that's not the meaning of the hangman. You have to keep in mind, my dears, the hangman is a major arcana card. OK, and the major arcana cards are the ones with the numbers. Usually they have Roman numerals on a lot of the decks. That means that this is like kind of a moment of destiny in some way. Like this is something the universe has planned or the angels or guides have intervened to make happen. It's a little bit of a pit stop. It's a place where you can have a moment of growth, an epiphany, uh, you know, a life purpose moment to be accomplished. And so the hanged man is going to be about some time to look at things from a different approach. It's about expanding your thinking. It's about learning to look from a situation from all sides. I feel for a lot of you, your Scorpio has been placing a lot of um, uh, like expectations on themselves about what it is to be successful or attractive or whatever and so they've been very hard on themselves as a result of that and maybe they've had very unreasonable expectations like they're not going to move forward with you until they're making a certain amount of money or until they have a certain kind of car or until they're living in a certain kind of house or they look some kind of way or whatever it is and so I feel like for them the hangman is about coming into this realization or having this epiphany because so many Scorpios are going through a very extensive transformation over the course of the summer. The hanged man, for some of you, your Scorpio is going to be realizing things about themselves that they need to work on, that they need to heal, that they need to change so that they can be a better person. So if you're somebody who's been like waiting for some Scorpio to wake up or see the ways in which they've hurt you or they've hurt other people or ways in which kind of like they shut other people out or whatever it might be. Your Scorpio is going through that awakening. Your Scorpio is going to begin seeing these things. And as a result, they're not going to be in a situation where they can move a relationship forward super quick, right? So if you've been waiting on a Scorpio like to propose or to set a date for a, a wedding or to have a conversation about moving in or uh, to have kids or something big like that your Scorpio is not in a position where they can do it in July for for many of you this is a general reading right and I want to clarify something for you if you're engaged to a Scorpio and you have a wedding or something planned for July I'm not saying it's not going to happen I'm just saying that 
uh, for like the next thing or the next step. They might not be in a place where they can really discuss this right now because they have some things they need to figure out. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio who's had this massive awakening and they're trying to make a really significant leap into like a whole new career change or starting a business or something really big and they're gonna need your patience your scorpio needs your patience and understanding and in some cases forgiveness um or uh for some of you you know maybe they need to know that you know if they're gonna forgive you if it, the shoe's on the other foot they just need to see from you they need some time before they can go back to the way things were right to just see um the way that things are developing and moving along so I hope this was helpful, my dears. The love videos for July are going to be up in the next couple of days. So if you subscribe and hit notification, uh, you'll get a notice when the love readings are up. And the love readings are going to be for the signs. This is more for the cross watchers. So, and check out your weekly forecast too, guys. Those are very, very helpful, you know, because they're not focused on love. They're focused on all the other important areas of life. So I hope this was helpful, my dears, and I'm wishing you a fabulous July.